Welcome to Open App Bali 2022 and I'm delighted to be joined by Mariz from EFL Global. Mariz, thank you so much for being here. Now, how is it to be at an event like this and be a sponsor? Thank you, Nadia. Uh, really appreciate uh, all what uh, the effort that has gone from NAP today. I think uh, every year that we keep on uh, joining the NAP, they continue to amaze me and impress me. So this year, you know, happening in Bali, home territory, and uh, you know, we, we could not say no. We had to be a sponsor. Um, we, we look forward to continue that. If uh, possible, if all goes well, I think uh, we'll be uh, sponsors in the future events as well. Great. Well, we'll see you in Greece. Now, tell us how you got into this industry in the first place, Maurice. Uh, let's say it was by accident uh, initially. Uh, I was not uh, really good at school, so my father decided to put me into uh, a, a company or an industry that might be able to make me a true man. And uh, I fell in love with uh, freight forwarding. You know, I think it was just uh, just the one uh, that I was uh, looking for. So we, we hit it off. I think me and uh, Fred go together, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> and how has COVID, obviously we're coming out the end of COVID, we're hoping. How has that affected you? Have there been challenges? Uh, I think from a human resource perspective, we do have, uh, we did have our fair share of challenges. Uh, I think our people, you know, falling uh, positive and falling victim to COVID. Uh, but I think we managed well. Uh, as an organization, we definitely, uh, you know, sort of uh, put our people uh, as, as our first priority. Uh, from a business perspective, I think we have done great as well uh, because we were there for our customers despite all those challenges. Uh, just between those two years of the pandemic, we managed to uh, move about 2,300 charters. So that was uh, something that we will uh, keep, keep uh, in our, our records, you know. <laughs> And you spoke about some challenges. Tell us about a time that you've had some challenges that NAP have helped you overcome those. Uh, I think uh, when we wanted to have a, a strategic partner who understands us and who was able to, you know, sort of, you know, help us complete that service or the promise that we gave our customers, I think we didn't have to look too far. Uh, NAP had the right uh, partners in the respective territories or respective countries. For example, you know, in the Middle East, I think we enjoyed working with guys like Motion uh, in, in China with Jerry. Uh, I think these were all introductions uh, thanks to the, the um, you know, um, uh, the platform that NAP gave us. So uh, we are really grateful for that, you know, and, and uh, we have uh, built year on year from there. So, so we did have challenges moving stuff from China during that time. I think NAP had the answer for us. Excellent. Well, good luck with the rest of the event and we can't wait to see you in Greece. Thank you, Nadia. Thank you. And uh, you've been doing a splendid job as well the last couple of days. And uh, we are grateful for everyone who have participated. And I hope everyone enjoyed Bali. Look forward to see everyone soon again. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you for watching us here at OpenNAP 2022.